YouTube, welcome to season one, episode two of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 vlog. Still using the DJI mic too, trying to get all we can out of that. This is such a fantastic mic. I spent um, a lot of yesterday going over the footage that I pulled off this camera in the previous vlog and the quality was just absolutely mind-blowingly good. To say that's the kind of picture that you can get straight out of the box, point and shoot and away you go. It absolutely blew me away. And the feedback on the video is just phenomenal as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed that uh, slow motion of Mocha. He's currently looking outside at the birds and the planes and the boats. Um, I hope you enjoyed the slow motion. It's probably some of the coolest footage I've ever taken. I've got so much. I spent probably three hours taking slow motion shots of Mocha and they're all as good as that. It really is like a truly mind-blowing device. I, I can't believe how good it is. So today I am recording in D-Log. Um, I'm going to play around with the uh, color correction in post, see how it looks. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to the audio. I'm going to leave that as is. So I've bumped the sharpness down just a touch. It's now at negative one. Um, a lot of the comments were the, the picture was looking pretty sharp. Uh, I'm currently in a pretty dark room. As you can see, I just stepped into some light there. It's uh, auto white balance, but it's gonna really kind of struggle because we're in a dark room. We've got a, a light coming in directly from a window above me. And then as you can see, we've got light coming in from this window here that Mocha is He's very comfortable there. That's his favorite spot. So let's get back out of that super harsh bright light and uh, just walk around. And yeah, the gimbal has been truly fantastic. Again, that uh, 
the, in the last video, episode one of the vlog, I was being completely mauled around. I was just being dragged left, right, and center. And I'm, again, looking back at that footage and how smooth and silky that was, just mind-blowing. So I'm still really just getting used to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I've still got a lot to learn. Um, again, this is just day two, almost full auto, except we're going D-Log for the color. We'll see how that looks in post. Um, bump the sharpness down a little bit. Other than that, everything is pretty standard. Hey, Mocha. How are you, buddy? You good boy? You having a good day? You're just chilling at the window? You're just chilling, daddy? Yeah, you're a good boy, huh? You're such a good boy. Okay, so yeah, this is a uh, much better lighting now. I have a little bit of light coming in. It should look a lot cleaner. Um, I can only say so many good things about this camera. It, it's just bonkers good. Uh, so this is season one, episode two of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 vlog. Now I'm gonna do some um, time lapses that I shot last night. These time lapses, um, night, dusk, through nighttime, two hours long. There's a lot of noise. I left the ISO on auto. I just basically left everything on auto and run a motion lapse for two hours. So it's not gonna be the, the cleanest footage, but again, for newcomers to motion lapse, time lapses, things like that, out of the box, put this thing on a tripod, and this is the kind of footage you can get from it without any super special secret knowledge or anything. It's crazy good. Check out the time lapse like and subscribe thank you everybody we we smashed 100 subscribers i love you all and i will see you in the next vlog coming soon where i hopefully get even better using the dji osmo pocket 3. so enjoy this time lapse maybe even throw some more uh, slow-mo mocha in there for you and i will see you in the next one
Thank you.